get into your your gutters, clear those gutters, anything that has accumulated in there during the winter. And as you'll see in just a couple minutes, just a small firework that lands in someone's gutter can involve those dry materials and can eventually extend into your home, into your attic, and cause a structure fire. During 4th of July, it's not uncommon for us to respond to law enforcement agencies, any use of fireworks within the county, and uh, to make sure that if you see a fire, report that fire. Like Chief Richard said, don't assume that someone else has reported the fire. Report the fire. We will respond uh, with the resources that we have available. As you can see, there's a small fire that has started in that gutter, and now it's extending into the attic of the home. So in a few minutes, and that's all it takes, is that small firework and that small amount of fire can extend into your home, and it can quickly escalate into a structure fire. basically an illegal firework and it's like a fountain shower type firework so it's uh, a firework that would be sitting on the ground and would just go out from the shower sparks kind of like soft or anything. Except it can also blast off the roof. If they land on roofs like Chief Richard said there are many commercial grade fireworks that are purchased illegally and set off and those fireworks can actually land on roofs land in gutters, land in vegetation adjacent to homes, yeah, really and eventually like, cause fires. Let's talk about how this is illegal in this county, but it may not be in other counties, right? You may have bought this. Right. Yeah. It's uh, very important to understand that all fireworks are illegal in Contra Costa County. If you purchase fireworks in another I don't know. I saw something in the handout material about the temperature of a sparkler being like as much as 12 degrees. Would this kind of thing be like that? The sparks that Absolutely. Burn exactly that Exactly the same. Okay. They burn very hot.
So uh, firefighter Gerard Williams is now going to extinguish the fire. It's very important that the public realizes that the, uh, the equipment that our firefighters use and the training they have enable them to extinguish these fires. It's important that the public primary mission is to notify people and evacuate. Do not try to put these types of fires out yourself. It's very easy for conditions to change and for people to get seriously injured. Thank you. We're definitely going to have to rebuild it now. <laughs>